one. Somebody warned them we were coming. The synthesizers left nothing behind but an empty apartment and a few volumes of illegal verse. A half-eaten meal wrenched out drawers. They scrambled together what little they could carry and fled east into the misery. Back when I wore a uniform, the marshal told me only three kinds of people willingly entered misery. The desperate, the stupid and the greedy. Sympathizers were desperate enough. I gathered a dozen stupid, greedy men and set out to kill them. We left Van Vanagard on an afternoon that sank of dreams of regret at the end of another bad summer. The money didn't justify the risk, but hungry men was what I did. I didn't pretend to allow our quarry to get far. Half the rabble I raised hadn't been out in misery before. They were practically shitting themselves when we headed out through the city down the gate. In a mile they were asking about Gillings and Duchess. Two miles out and they were began to cry. My, my old timers laughed, reminded him. It'd be back before dark. Three days later, the arseholes were somehow still ahead of us. Nobody was laughing anymore. They made for dust gorge, told me, he said. He fiddled with the dolls, his astro blade. Held it up to his eye in the distance, between the moons. Told you they would. Didn't I tell you that, Captain? Like balls you did, he said. The footprints of the grit were pivoting him right. I'm sure I did, Toradino. Nia grinned to me, mustard yellow teeth, sank in his treacled dark hair and face. I remember you came into the bar with papers, I said. I bet you make the gorge. Figure that earns me an extra share. Even if this job was paid well enough for an extra share, you still won't get one. If it doesn't, and it, it, and it doesn't, I, I said. Not my fault. I didn't pick the jobs, Tony Air said. That's the first time you've been right today. Now keep quiet and plot us a course. Tony raised the glass eyepiece towards the sky as a colour of a weak old bruise. Dirty gold skins of green, torn purple and ugly brown. Blood browns emerged together in an easel of ruptured fluids and broken capillaries. He commented on his candidate fingers, traced a visible line from one room to the next. The cracks of the sky were quiet, barely a whisper passing through the banks of a restless cloud. Everything in the misery is broken, everything is wrong, and soon we shoot the bastards that were hanging back the rest, hanging back to west, and the happy I would be. We rode through the banks of grit and sand, bank black, not black and red, and dry the salt. Something rises up from the misery. You feel it all the while, in like an air, but it's your enemy rather than your friend. It soaks you into you, gets you into gums until you taste of the poison. I just hoped it would be over soon. Three days into misery, cutting south from east over black sands, he found the remains of their stolen horse, where they were torn each legs off. The sympathizers were hunting, had done the bad, smart thing, and left the horse to each run and fate. Right. It's fate to run. Temporary respite. So they couldn't outrun us now. I could, I could read relief in the way the men sat in their saddles. If we have a pair of heads bared, bagged and sun by sundown, be heading to, back towards the passes of civilization along the border. I took my flask from my coat and shook it. Not the first time I'd done that. I made as empty as I'd been. On the last three occasions, since I was let out of brandy, I mean, we only had some more, uh, more beer to drink. Not a great deal of it. The misery is dangerous for groups of every armed oh, soldiers. They had a pair of untrained, unprepared, and civilians, armed civilians who stay alive ahead of us for three days or enough. I'm getting me nerves. Another reason to get this over as quickly as possible. The, the Sam wrote a trail near to clear the sea. Ahead of us, dust scored. A narrow through, through sort of earth, the grass cut out through the landscape. A shine, shifting dunes, castic and brittle stones, a lighting bolt corridor, and through it one of the rents of the room, the split on the earth, and a reflection of the dirt, damage of the heavens. One of the sky cracks began to high. Its high, sorrowless wailing, causing my troop to not soldiers to reach out, split spirit stones and amulets. Three company men might have grit, but also were more suspicious than a priest of a festival day. They wanted him out 
of the misery as much as I did. I was making them jumpy. The jumpy soldiers were a mess of even simple work. A generous man might call my troop of cutthroat soldiers. A generous man was a generally idiots. And they ain't get up. I called as we approached the slope. It led down to the gloom. She was calling black sap jaws, working, teeth black and tar. There's no more irritating around this side of the hills. You should have to chew that stuff. All of these tricks, she suggested. That's because some duchess has a mouth of rotten teeth. It doesn't mean you have to intimidate a sucker circumvent fens. Can't blame me for fashion, Captain. Got to keep up with appearances. Why need a fault anyone be looking at her teeth while she was one short of face with battling as of trend? Two, two, two. I knew from experience that telling her to stop was pointless as telling Turner to keep it in his trousers. I glared. But anyway, you got what for me, Captain? Nini said. She pulls Holtz back, a lump of black stap in the sand. We're going down, just me and you. Just the two of us, the wooden nose strapped on her face didn't wrinkle, but the skin between her eyes ceased, creased. There's only two of them, and they ain't even armed. Don't think that we can't, we can't handle it. I, not them, I'm afraid of, Nina said. It's about the rest of the black sap in this way, the world of way. Might be anything in there. Might be scrotums, dokers. Might be a big pot of gold too, but I mean, far too much. Too south for Duchess, anyway. And um, what for screen rams? Just get your shit sorted and we're going down. We need both beds intact. We're going to get paid. You know how the job the beds get. get. But can't trust them to get carried away. Counts don't, courts don't pay out if any way they avoid it. Remember what happened to Snipkiss? It was Nina's tur- Nina's turn to scale. Yeah, I remember. Christmas was a bad memory for all of us. Missing one of his full jobs to pay of a technical entity doesn't sit right with anyone. To this day, I still have argued that you still, you still, you could just have made out a face if you arranged the pieces right. Good. So get bright and ready, up, ready up. I dismounted. My legs were sore from the saddle. They ached in my lower back, cracking the way you didn't, uh, you wouldn't have ten years ago. Didn't spend enough time in the saddle anymore. Sitting soft, getting soft, soft but old. That's where I told myself, turn around and got it down and help me ready up. I was even older than I was, though. I could trust her not to put a sword through my anyone's face. That was because you were just as useful as a fight as a wax helmet. More like doing it to yourself than anyone else. His nins brain the nasty I needed down here. Tony A. Checked out the straps of my half armour, primed my matchlock, match lock, and s- selected weapons from the arsenal of my saddle and belted them on. I strapped a short bladed cutlass and a long handled dagger. No room to swing anything longer than an arm down in the gorge. Went down there before, a few years back. I didn't come, I didn't get very wide, more alley than valley. Needing to look suddenly sp- fierce and black and steel. We sparked up a flame and got another match cold smoking. Firearms primed and ready to spit lead. Don't plan on using them. A matchlock ball will make an awfully big mess of something. But like Neil said, there might be scorons. Might be anything down in the dark guts of the soured earth. The sooner we cut this sympathizer's heads off and started back towards the city, the better. There's only three places they can climb out of the gorge, I said. You remember where the others are? Nittinia nodded. He pointed the other two out to me. One about a mile off and the other half a mile east of that. Good. We're flushing out. Ride the mat down and wait for us. Easy work. Tony's in charge. I held him my boys and they almost looked like they were playing to tension. How I managed to pick up some worthless cataracts. I can't recall. One out of my, out of brandy, 20 miles into misery, a troop of vermin on my heels. Somewhere in my life, things have gone very, very wrong. A slope of loose, slope of loose rock, and ancient fossilised trees roots led down to the covers. No easy to navigate when you're a weapon to carry in the walls, or only seven feet apart. There was a greater deal, 
great deal of light, just enough to pick out some poor footing. It's hard to avoid kicking showers of grit down in the dark, but we put we quit, but we kept quiet as we could. Dust cools are deep, probably one of the reasons the kick any use like to use it meeting point with its spies and sympathizers. The trolls didn't often sweep the deep in the misery, nearly out of the range altogether, but if they didn't they wouldn't go poking around down in the dark. Even the officers had some sense of that. more sense of that. The air persisted dry, cold, no most drool, tree roots protruded through the and rock around us, a thousand year old forest. I stood there once, back before the misery are gone into being. Only roots remain now, a dry and grey as old bones, there's no water in misery, an occasional oily black ball helped nothing to grow. I have a confession to make, I said. You've got religion all of a sudden, and you this grunted folly. I wanted to get alone in the dark, unlikely. Pick my way through the boulder, put no, 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 too much weight against it, and crumble away like chalk. Nothing in the misery lasts. The courtiers were paying more than I said. Not a lot more, but enough to the, that it's got me thinking. You lied about the fee. Of course I always lied about the fee. Arthur? Yes, but anyway. Got me thinking about those targets. Or more than just simplify the spies. No. What is his a bride? There are no brides in that garden, as he said. Too quick to get for eviction. As, as, as we descended, the latest of the roots above the closet. I'll out like both like the wind, Lily blew out her match cord, kept the tight tip red and smoking, glow of it lit her face red.